there's been a few like really, really personal moments that have shaped me to be who I am. Um, the most recent was my health situation. Um, and I'm not sure if you're, oh, if you knew about these um, series of events, I wasn't really too open about it. Um, but I, my dad died less than 24 hours from when I got my cancer diagnosis. So I was trying to absorb this information that I got about my health and, you know, figure that out. Um, the next morning I was hanging out with some really close friends and, and we were just all being really gentle with each other. Um, cause a lot of, a lot of a cancer diagnosis is a waiting game, right? Like you got the diagnosis and then you just have to sit and wait for the next doctor's appointment or the next test. And, um, you know, you, you don't want to read too much on Google, but you do anyway. Um, so I was hanging out with my friends and I got a phone call from my mom that she couldn't wake up my dad. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm, I'm more freaking out about how I'm going to tell my parents this situation because I knew it was going to devastate them. So it was like one thing after another. It was almost like being in shock, I guess. You know, I just I picked up my things. We had to drive over to my parents. They live 30 minutes from me. And in fact, my, my dad had died that morning. Um, so from there, about two weeks after that is when COVID started shutting things down in the U.S. 